Hello everybody and welcome back to the YouTube channel Learn Rel. Today's video is going to be about GitLab and it's going to be uh, more specifically on the topic of what to do with GitLab projects, more specifically archiving them and removing them or deleting them, those are the proper terms, maybe. So I have uh, demonstrated basically in the past creating GitLab repositories, putting the code in there. But sometimes you have a repository that's no longer necessary. In fact, you may have accidentally made it and, whoa, we don't want to waste any space. We don't want to let people load up code to the wrong place, so we want to delete it. Other times you have code that you used to use, used to update, and you don't really think you needed to delete it yet, but you want to kind of hide it so people don't accidentally upload any code into that space. So first, uh, scenario you probably want to delete if you don't want people to accidentally load any code into an existing space that you just don't care about. You want to delete it. But the second scenario is you have a good repository of an old set of code and that code you don't want to be accidentally updated and overwritten with any other files but you want to kind of hide it so that doesn't happen. That would be archiving it because when you archive you can also hide the repository. And in GitLab, when you archive a repository, it actually becomes read-only. So I will show you, um, demonstrating here, when you basically choose to hit the GitLab button, for me, my default comes to the projects page, and that's set. Quick show you, demonstration of this. Here, and in preferences, and scroll down, and you can see the home page content. This is what sets the home page for me when I click here to be your projects page. Click here and let's just see what happens. Back to the your projects tab, your projects page. And these are all the projects listed here that are active. Now I do actually have one hidden and I will show you how to find that in the case you ever want to deal with that. So let's, let's slow down and we click on the drop down here where it says name. We scroll down here Instead of hiding archive projects, you might want to do show archive projects. Now look at the list. There's four project repositories here listed now. Project Level Zero, Learn About Wikis, GitLab, and Ansible Notes. I'm going to click on show archive projects. And look, another one showed up. And not only does it show up, but it shows up and indicates that it's been archived. And if you click here, you can now see that the project has been archived, but not only that, but archived project, exclamation point, meaning this one's archived, repository and other project resources are read-only, meaning you can't push any more changes to this. It's read-only, it's not writable. All right, so now let's get to the meat of this. How do you turn a project into a state where it is, ar is archived? Very easy to do. Click on the project that you want to deal with. So in my case, I want to archive project triple zero go over to the settings and the location of settings will vary depending on the version of GitLab we're on 14 let's see which version are we on um, great question uh, is it? we're on version 14.10 so as major, uh, major version 15 is about to come out here, I think sometime in May, this might change a bit. So just be aware of the fact you want to go to settings, find it wherever it is for the project, and then go to the general option, because that should also stay the same, no matter whether you're at major version 14 or 13 or 15. You found the project and scroll down all the way to the bottom until you find the advanced section. Basically, you can see this line here. Basically, this is kind of indicating it's a section. Expand this section called Advanced, and then scroll down. Let's do the Archive Project. OK, so we click the OK button. And now we can see that the state has changed for Project Triple Zero as well. Archive Project, Repository, and other project resources are read-only. Now, I'm going to hit the GitLab button which will take me back to the Your Projects uh, page. And now we see that it's no longer there. So there's no Project 001, no Project 000. 
Why? Because we've archived it, and by default, we don't show archived products. But we can show it again if we want to. Go up here to the main drop down, and then choose Show Archive Products. And now we can see the Project Triple Zero that I just archived, and the Project Double Zero One that we already archived before this video. Well, Project Triple Zero is a space that I don't want anybody accidentally putting any kind of code into. So I'm going to click on it again. I'm going to click on Settings, mouse over it, and click on the General option. Go to the very bottom again to Advanced, expand it, and then go all the way down to the option that says Delete Project. You click this button, and it'll say, hey, enter the following to confirm you want to remove this. I do want to remove it, so I'm going to just highlight it, hit Control-C because I'm working with Windows. You would do whatever it takes for Linux browsing or browser on Linux or uh, do what's appropriate for you on Apple or appropriate for you on Windows. Then I'm going to click on the field and hit Control-V. It just wants the literal same string to be copied in place. So that's why they put it there so it's so easy for you to highlight Control-C and paste. Yes, delete the project. Okay, Deletion pending, meaning it hasn't occurred yet, but it's going to. Project YouTube uh, walkthroughs forward slash product triple zero deleted will be deleted on the 23rd of April. So that means we have to wait a week, which is actually different from the last time I had to do a video on this uh, with version major version 13. So that's interesting. So be aware of this post up here after you hit the reset, sorry, the deletion button. Pay attention to the screen. You know, the best way to learn is to read. So here we are. Um, the project is not deleted yet. We'll click this and delete it. I'm going to go back to the GitLab page. And again, right now it's not listed because it's in the archive state. So let's see if we can take a look at the archive and see if we can find it listed. And in reality, we've marked it for deletion and it has been deleted, but more specifically, it's not anywhere to be found to be used at all. YouTube walkthroughs forward slash project triple zero is gone visibly from the screen, gone visibly from the list of archive projects. It's gone visibly from anywhere in the website. Again, it will be 100% trashed, deleted, scrubbed from the disk on the 23rd of April. That's in a week from now. But for all intents and purposes, not only is it read only, you couldn't push anything new to it, it's also inaccessible visibly and physically. That's it. Thank you for your time. Please uh, check out my other videos on the YouTube channel LearnRel. I have videos for um, any kind of administration of Linux system, specifically Red Hat variants, RHEL, CentOS, um, Rocky Linux, and Alma Linux. Thank you again. Have a good evening.